must say I did an okay job of wrapping these presents for my secret Santa tonight. I got this really cute wrapping paper from Target. It's like these little trucks. I thought it was really cute. And I got some little ribbons, or what do you call these? Little bows, ribbons, bows, same thing. And these cute little stickers where I can write the recipient's name. I guess I can tell you guys because this is gonna go live after my Secret Santa tonight, but I have Danielle, so I got her a bunch of cute things. I got her a Skims robe and a really cute soft little hat with a pom-pom, and then I got her these really cool looking mugs, which I'm sure you guys will see on her channel at some point, but these matching like a two set little mugs, but they're handcrafted, really gorgeous ceramic mugs with matching little coasters. So that's what I got for Danielle. I am currently just, whoa. Do you ever look at yourself after you've been like working head down, not checking your appearance for a whole day. And you're like, whoa, that's what I look like. Um, it's fine. I've been really hard at work today just prepping for the Secret Santa because I'm hosting it at my apartment tonight. So it's around 3.30 right now. I'm trying not to touch my under eyes. I'm dealing with some eczema right now that I'm getting checked out at the dermatologist tomorrow. But right now I'm just prepping for the Secret Santa. So I'm going to clean up my apartment, organize as much as I can, vacuum, dust, like do all the things that I do before anyone ever comes over because I'm crazy. And then I'm gonna go to Whole Foods, grab some stuff for a nice charcuterie spread, but I'm gonna do like some sweets as well, I think. I'm gonna try to cover my whole coffee table with treats. And then I'm gonna set the vibe. We're gonna light some candles, turn the tree on. It's gonna be so cute in here. I love when the girls, we all get together and we do this gift exchange. This is our second year doing it. Last year it was so fun. We went to Brooks last year. And this year it's my turn. We're gonna switch off. It's myself, it's Brooke, Danielle, and the two Margos. And I'm so excited. I also actually have another gift exchange tomorrow night with my college friends. So a lot of gift exchanges this week. Luckily tomorrow night is not in my apartment. It's at a restaurant, so I don't have to tidy up around here. But it's also just good to you know do a little winter cleaning before everyone leaves for the holidays. I'm actually sticking around here for a bit though. I'm in the city until like a few days before Christmas because I have a lot of work to get done before I R&R for the new year or till the new year. And the new year is gonna be crazy. We have an amazing trip planned for New Year's Eve up to the Catskills. So it's gonna be a crazy couple of weeks. Figured I would kick off another vlog, another holiday fun festive vlog. And I'm excited to just show you the rest of my evening preparation and the next couple of days in the city, which are crazy and productive and good stuff. So stick around. I need to shower badly. I think I was actually sitting in this exact spot the last time I discussed today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. So right now I'm just wrapping things up with my therapist. We just had a great session. It's perfectly okay to have struggles, but I think that it's brave and very, very productive to find a way to work through it. And therapy has been very beneficial for me personally in getting to that point where I can feel comfortable in my life and practice healthy coping mechanisms and healthy ways to work through my stress and my holiday blues and not just feeling sad and not doing anything about it. You know, it's, it's productive to talk to someone else who is licensed to help you. And BetterHelp has amazing licensed therapists. My favorite part about BetterHelp is the fact that I can do it from the comfort of my home. I can sit right here and chat with my therapist. I don't have to see her one-on-one, -on -one, like face-to-face, -face. but this is someone who's helping me figure out action items, things I can do to make myself feel better through the holiday blues, which I personally am experiencing. I don't know about anybody else. It's the least stressful process signing up, getting connected to a therapist. If you don't like your therapist for some reason, you can change at any time. Cheers to ending the year on a good foot, okay? I wanna go into 2023 feeling like I can take on whatever is coming. So definitely check out BetterHelp. I'll have a link on the screen to where you guys can sign up, get 10% off with my link. So check it out and thank you to BetterHelp for sponsoring this vlog. Okay guys, so the apartment is all clean and ready to receive guests, which I'm so excited about. I'm thrilled for our evening. It's gonna be so fun. We always have the best time together. So I made this little spread, um, which I'm anticipating a few more things to add over there. 
It looks like a lot of crackers, honestly, but I tried to keep the meat separate because Margot is kosher, so I kept that away from everything else. But the tree is looking fabulous. My presents are under the tree. I did a pretty good job wrapping them, I must say. Though I accidentally put labels on it with the to and from, which obviously for a secret Santa you don't want to do. So I'm like covering them until the time comes and then I'm just going to hand them to Danielle, who is my person, of course. But it's so pretty in here. I will say I just got this one light fixed up there. You guys can see there's like one that's a little bit more fluorescent than the others, I think. And my lights are on a dimmer, which I love, except look at this. So... All the lights are on a dimmer, except for this one. So we have one lone uh, spotlight in here. So I'm gonna have my super come back and figure this out. But in the meantime, I'm just operating it all lights on because it looks so weird if I don't. So I hope everyone's okay with some direct overhead light. <laughs> but of course, we're all in comfy clothes today. I'm wearing my go-to Christmas pajamas, which I wear and wash and wear so often. And they actually still look really nice, even though I've washed them so many times and they're silky still. Got them from Revolve, my mom did, for Christmas last year. You guys know I talked about them in the last vlog. But I'm so happy. The apartment is clean. I feel so ready to host. I was a little stressed earlier, but now it's looking dazzling in here, so... I have some wine chilled. It's gonna be fun. I'm excited. My first guest has arrived, the wonderful Margot Lee. I'm the first one You're here. the first one here. Yeah. You're so punctual. I'm usually not, and I went to Whole Foods right before this. I'm really thirsty, so I got water. <laughs> okay. But when I'm really thirsty, I always want fruit. So that's like my first instinct. Danielle's here. These stem and leaf mandarins because they're so beautiful. That's so like you in a vibes. fruit. That's you in a fruit, honestly. That's so nice. This is non-alcoholic, just to like try something new. Okay. Um, these chips, Margot. And <laughs> Wait, I did. love those chips. Okay, so I walked by them. And I was like, the cauliflower oh, stalks. Okay. Another, another, another mandarin. Okay, olives, because like I don't know, she's bored. Yeah, olives. I didn't even get olives. That's perfect. Okay, perfect. We needed that. And then I walked by the <laughs> seafood, and I was like, shrimp cocktail could be good. Like, oh, I don't know if you guys yeah. Like shrimp cocktail. Yeah. So Why not? Okay. Sorry, Thank you so much for bringing this into my, all of my home. Whole Foods into your home. <laughs> it's fine. You can even add it to the spread. Yeah. Okay. Good. Just add it. Just add it right yeah. Ah, how Precious. No Magnolia. Who do you think Margo should go oh, first? Like <laughs> 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 I'm telling everyone to try them because I said okay. They're so Flavors of the week. Yes. Oh my. Okay. Chocolate chip. Well, they always have those two. Chocolate chip and pink sugar. And then oh. gingerbread. Oh my gingerbread. God. I'm going in on the Twix. Wow. That yes. looks so good. Wait, they're, they're like know. beautiful. Yeah, I know, right? I think I, what'd you say this was frosted with? Yeah, um, pink. Like pink, oh. pink. Good work, like, Brooke. Yeah. Good work. Yeah, it's a sugar cookie. It's like, you know, like the, it's like those cookies <laughs> you get at the grocery store that some people love them, some people hate I'm them. I'm the one I love them. them. Oh my God. Good morning everyone, I just woke up, it is a new day. I am up pretty early because I'm going to an early morning first thing dermatologist appointment. I am getting my annual skin check where they just like check all my moles and my skin, my freckles, everything and make sure that nothing is cancerous, which I have to say, if there's one thing, I mean, there's a lot of things I would recommend that you do to look after yourself, but that's one thing. I think a lot of us overlook because we're like, oh, that freckle looks normal, but what do I know? Like truly, what do I know? So I'm going to a dermatologist here in the city. I've never gone to this specific dermatology before, but it's gotten great reviews on ZocDoc. So I was like, okay, I'm like so tired after the Secret Santa. We were up until like 1 a.m. just talking and I loved it every second of it, but now I am so sleepy, I need a huge coffee. Anyway, trying to get my hair back with a shortcut, it's so hard, so 
I like have to do the half up, half down. So going to get my skin check, I'm also going to ask the dermatologist, which I'm actually seeing a man this time, which I've convinced myself I'm okay with. If you guys don't know for a skin check, you like get down to your underwear, but you wear a, a gown on top, like one of those like paper gowns. And I'm like, you know, I don't really care that much. Like, I know he's just doing his job, so I'm gonna be okay. Like, if it was a gyno, I don't know personally if I could do a male gynecologist, but when it comes to a, a derm, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna wear my underwear, so. That being said, I'm also going to ask him about the eczema flare-ups I've been having under my eyes, because I've had eczema for years and it always flares up right underneath my eyes and makes it super sensitive and painful. And I have creams that make it feel a little bit better, but I feel like I need a prescription to like fully zap that out. So honestly, not that far. It's like a 15 minute walk, thank God. So yeah, that is uh, what I'm doing this morning, everyone. Stay tuned for more fun, exciting updates. <laughs> I'm wearing this gray sweatsuit, which is actually what Margot Lee got me. She had me a secret Santa, or she was my secret Santa. And you can't really see, but it's this gray Aritzia sweatsuit and it's so cozy. And she got me um, some other things like a book and they're just the cutest little things. Like honestly, we all did such a great job. I'm very proud of all of us for our gift giving. I was just so excited to see what was gonna come next and who was gonna get who because yeah, it was just like the perfect night. So, so happy about it. And I have a secret Santa again tonight. We strike again with the good gifts. Anyway, I gotta go, but I will update you guys on everything. My hair is crazy, it's okay. I just got back from the dermatologist. All was well really happy, grateful, thankful that nothing was wrong. No skin cancer that they could find. They did a full body check, so thorough. It was two of them. It was the male doctor and a woman doctor. So I had like two people like lifting up my arms, looking at my armpits. Like it was very thorough and I feel good. I don't know. I always just like, you know, there's so much to worry about. I don't want to like freak anyone out, but like you just never know, so it's always best just to be safe and like it's worth dragging myself in the cold just to make sure everything's good. So all is well there. Also, the woman actually complimented my Aritzia sweatsuit, so love that. <laughs> These people have taste. I'm just kidding. Um, I went to dermatology specialist in Greenwich Village, if you guys are in the city, but just did that. Took like an hour, and I also got a really great cream that I'm gonna try for my eczema that I believe is a hydrocortisone cream of sorts, which is what he said. So I have to go to CVS to pick that up in a little bit. It wasn't ready when I went, but now I'm just back at home. I am revving up work for the day. I have some videos to edit for a client. So I'm gonna work on that. But yeah, so I just have some editing work today. I like just have really random odd things to shoot. Um, and yeah, just trying to get as much done as I can before the holidays because I feel like this is crunch time, so lots of random work things. And then I get to go to the Secret Santa later tonight. We're going to a really delicious Italian restaurant, so I'm very excited for pasta later. That is the light at the end of the tunnel today. Um, but yeah, that is what I'm up to. This is your sign to go get a skin check, though, I have to say. These people were thorough. They checked like in my hairline, they checked in my scalp, they checked in between my toes. They did the most. Seriously, so anyway, I'll bring you guys back in once I um, Get ready for the night and stuff or the evening, which is gonna be in like Five hours. Okay, a little mid work snack. I wanted to share that might be kind of a weird combo, but I'm really into it. So I got this Picnic gourmet spreads herbed goat cheese lab nut yogurt spread And I got this from Whole Foods and it's so darn good and I just dip like fruit or you can get like a cracker or something. I just wash these strawberries. Honestly, these are the juiciest, best strawberries that I've gotten in a long time. Very pleasantly surprised. I've been a little disappointed by Whole Foods recently and 
I'm loving it. Whole Foods is like by far the closest grocery store to me. Like everything else is so far. So they look so juicy and delicious. I just dip it in here. And I don't know if like sweet and savory, like this mix is everyone's cup of tea, but I'm obsessed. Oh, P.S. I forgot to tell you guys. These are some things I got last night from Margot as my secret Santa. And I didn't share them this morning, but I got this little matchbook holder, or it has matches in it, and you can also put matchbooks in it. And it says, may the bridges I burn light the way. Very chic, very cool, great for the coffee table. And she also got me this really beautiful copy of Emma by Jane Austen. And I love it. I'm gonna put this on my shelf somewhere nice, but it's a very pretty rendition of it. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but this is my outfit of the night for my gift exchange with my college friends. This cute little skirt that I got from Anthro. Let me show you a better view. It's an asymmetrical little skirt. That's so cute with this floral pattern, I suppose. Little tie, waist, and this top honestly is the most flattering long sleeve top I have. I love the square neck and it has a built in little, um, what do you call it? Shelf bra, like a little shelf bra underneath. So we have the layers going. I don't need to wear a bra with it, I love it. And I just curled or waved my hair. Wearing little hoops, basic, very simple makeup. And yeah, I'm like kind of a zombie right now. I almost like fell asleep while I was um, watching a little bit of SVU just now because I had a little bit of time to kill. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't fall asleep. I can't fall asleep. I revived myself by doing my hair and makeup. And now we are heading to eat some pasta. But I'm obsessed with this skirt. It looks so much better in person. I don't really know what it's picking up as right now, but it's a really cute pattern in person. So I'm back from my secret Santa dinner with my friends from college. It's so crazy how like, Everything can change and still nothing can change, if that makes sense. It's like we're all in different phases of life, oddly. We're all the same age, same grade, but some of the group is like moving in with their boyfriends for the first time. Some of them are like on the verge of getting engaged like any minute now. Others are single as can be. And then like apart from that, like the job stuff, like some people are just like starting a new job. Some people are getting promoted. Some people are moving. Some people are, it's just, so special like getting together and talking about everyone's life changes and like how things are going and just like getting the updates it's so special i'm so glad that i have friends that live in the city from college because high school like they're really the only one i have is adam of course you guys know that i went to middle school with adam who's also my podcast co-host and very close friend and he is now like in my college friend group so he was there tonight but honestly, like if you don't like use it, you lose it. Like if you are not, I feel like personally, at least this is a personal situation. There's like a few people I keep in touch with via text because I really want to keep the relationship going. And like, they're also giving like 50% and checking in, but it's honestly just the best if you happen to live in the same place as your college friends. And I don't know how this happened. Like, I don't know how it ended up that eight of my college, my close college friends live. We all live like, you know, we're all in different parts of town, but we're all in Manhattan, which is just bonkers that we've all managed to get here and stay here. It's just like, I, I feel very lucky, very lucky because I do feel like college was the time where I really started to figure out who I was. And so these people have been with me like through the whole journey and it just makes it feel, you know, they know everything about me. Every time I got like way too drunk and did stupid things, plus like every achievement I've ever had, like they know they've been here for it all. So it's just crazy that we're like embarking on these new parts of life where like people are getting like married and having babies. And it's just crazy that I'm 27. Like, when did that happen? When did I become 27? Like, I don't even know. Anyway, I'm stalling. I need to go to bed. I like, need to catch up on sleep. I have an early workout in the morning and I just like had the weirdest dreams last night. Like my slumber last night was not good because I had the weirdest stress dream and it was very bizarre because I actually dreamt 
that I was back at my corporate job, which I haven't had since like three and a half years now. So like I, my dream was like, I was back in the office, like every part of it was the same as it was. And like, I was with my old coworkers and like, it was like a, a classic office stress. Like I forgot to do something at work, but it's wild because I haven't had that job in so long. And I'm like, why did my brain jump to that? Like, why did my brain put me back there? I guess it was just like a traumatic time. I don't know. <laughs> Whenever I forgot to do something at work or I messed something up, it was like, it shakes you to your core. You guys probably know someone or have been there yourself where you just like mess something up and there's just no bigger pit that you get. Anyway, I'm just using a makeup wipe on my skin. I'm actually pretty proud of my skin overall besides the eczema. Like I'm still working through that. You guys know I talked about that this morning, um, but I have a cream for it now. So I'm gonna start using that, but it's weird because of course, like it was flaring up a few days ago. Now, by the time I get to the derm, it's actually looking okay. Um, but I've been using some new, you guys know I love my Korean beauty products, my Korean skincare products um, that I see on the internet and I'm like, ooh, those look good. <laughs> so I've been using a few different ones and I'm in the process of testing out for you guys before I like talk too much about them, but I really love like a nice thick moisturizer. So I've been using this. Um, it's really gorgeous as well. Look at that like holographic. Um, it's black tea enriched cream and it really does wonders for my skin, which is so freaking dry. So anyway, I'm gonna try it out a bit more before I fully wreck it to you guys, but I have some other stuff as well. For a while I had really bad adult acne, like earlier this year. I think a lot of it was due to stress though. I really do. Like I think a lot of it was stress because I honestly have cleared up so nicely. And I don't know if I talked about it on this vlog. I haven't, I don't think yet. Um, I did dermaplaning for the first time, which is where Essentially, it's getting like the dead skin off your face with a scalpel. So it's like a very gentle razor type of sensation. It doesn't hurt. And she does it over most of the face, not entirely, like not too close to the eyes and everything, but most of the face. And the result is not only do your pores look amazing in my experience, but also it's a hair removal technique as well. Like it's, it's not removing every, like it's not like you're shaving it with a razor. It's more delicate. So even as the hair is growing back, I don't feel like it's like super prickly, if that makes sense. So anyway, has this been interesting to you guys? Me just like rambling on and on about my life and my skin. But I have to say my skin has been like, I don't want to, I need to knock on something, knock on the door frame. Um, my skin's been pretty good recently and I have to say, like to be completely honest with you, I have no idea what is in this. I don't know where it came from. It just like appeared in one of my PR packages and I was like, oh, it's kind of pretty. It's like this like dark purple glass uh, container and it has this like inspirational quote on the back. It says, I am devoted to this moment and then it has it in French underneath but it's this golden cleanser, but it has no other like wording besides just like instructions on pumping it into your hand. So I'm like, I don't know what this stuff is at all. So I don't wanna like tell you guys, go get it. Cause I don't even know what this mysterious thing is, but it smells like nothing I've ever smelled before. You know what it actually gives me a vibe of now that I'm thinking about it? Like those shampoos we used to use as kids, like the No Tears L'Oreal shampoos but almost like in a like a slightly adult version if that makes sense but it just smells like like a warm hug from my mom for some reason so anyway this stuff i don't know what this mysterious keys brand is but i just tried it because i was in a pinch one day i have a lot of facial cleansers now so i have like a lot of competition in the bathroom but oh my god it's just like I really do think this stuff smells like baby products. It smells like a newborn baby in a good way. I'm gonna tan my face soon, but that would require also tanning my body so it's all even. So I'm thinking like before I have to do something important next, but tomorrow night I am going on a date. Probably my last date before the holidays. I'm just like cramming one last one in because why not? Anyway, I'm tired, I'm delirious, I'm like saying weird things, I gotta go, good night. All right guys, I am wearing the same thing as yesterday, I realize, but I just shot something 
a brand deal and I had this like extravagant gown on and I was just dying for some sweatpants so I'm wearing these again and I just love this set. I clearly need to get more sweat sets from Maritzia because they're so darn comfortable. But anyway, what I'm working on right now, so I just shot a campaign where I made espresso martinis. They've actually been sitting here for like a while. That's why the foam is gone on top. There was perfect foam. I must say I'm very proud of my execution. Um, let me see if I can actually find a clip. Sitting on the floor editing, which is my favorite place to edit. Look at that foam, real good. Anyway, so I just shot this campaign. And actually fun fact, I shot this last week and I had to do a reshoot. Um, this often happens and it's not because the content was bad. It's just like the content had elements that they weren't looking for. No qualms. Um, I get two more espresso martinis in the middle of the workday. Um, and I got to do my makeup all cute. And the dress I wore was really cute as well. So anyway, stay tuned for that on my Instagram. But right now I'm just going to finish editing, send this off to the client. I'm going to clean up everything. And what time is it? It's four o'clock. I'm randomly hungry. So I think I'm gonna make myself a snack and eat dinner in a bit because I'm going on a date tonight, not till eight o'clock. And I think I'm getting to grandma status because once it gets dark, which is like five, 5.30 now, like literally 5.30, it starts getting dark and then it's fully dark by six. I have to have a real good reason to leave the house at that point. And then the day comes, I'm like, why? Why am I do? Why did I do this? Why did past Katie commit to this plan? And it's not just a date, it's just in general, I feel like past Katie's so ambitious. And I'm sure you can agree with this as well in your own life. You're like, oh, I was so ambitious like last week when I made this plan and now I don't wanna go because the day is here. But at least I already have my makeup on so I'm just gonna like adjust because this is a lot of glam for an ice cream date. We're going to get ice cream. <laughs> So maybe I shouldn't wear red lipstick. I don't know. Anyway, so that's what I'm up to. I haven't really vlogged much today because I really didn't do much besides work out and just email, which is what I did yesterday. So I feel like it's kind of one of those things where the days are bleeding together. But um, tomorrow is just another fun day of work as well. Wow, I'm really so exciting these days. I hope you guys enjoy these vlogs. I know a lot of people have been asking me to like get out of the house and like film some stuff in the city, like not in my apartment. But when it's this cold and dark, guys, it's hard, okay? It's tough. So I hope you guys enjoy just like the random clips that I film in my apartment because that's where I spend most of my time, to be honest with you. And it's pretty cute. Look at my tree. Look at my tree and the bottle of Grey Goose. Anyway, that's the update guys. I'll see you in a few. So it's the next morning. I went on a date last night. I'm gonna recap that. But I do wanna say, you guys are probably like, Katie, why are you always in your bathroom? And not only do I like to show you guys things in here, but also it's the quietest part of my apartment because we're the furthest from the street. And especially on a rainy day like today, just the cars on the wet pavement is so loud. And I know I've seen comments where people are like, we love the sounds of New York and I love that. I'm so grateful people care or don't care, but yeah, don't care as much about that. But there's something about me and audio clarity. Like I'm just so oddly fixated on it. So I just feel better when I'm in a quiet room, which is why I really hope that I can find another apartment in the spring when I move or when I my lease is up and move somewhere a bit quieter. But it is what it is. I'm very grateful to live in this apartment. It is so great, but it's just, it gets loud. It's loud tonight. It's a Friday night. I just know there's going to be like chatter downstairs at the bars on my street. And I'm like, I just want a quiet night. So after last night's date, I think I've just realized and through therapy and through just talking to my friends, like I am doing really great on my own right now. And I don't think like my quest to find a partner, like I just don't think I need to do that right now. I'm just exhausted, honestly, with trying and putting myself out there. And while I think it's really great that I'm doing it and I won't stop, I think I need a little hiatus, at least until like the end of January, <laughs> like where I'm not trying as hard because it takes a toll. Like anyone out there who's single or who has ever been single and has been in the dating scene, 
you know it's just it really takes a toll on you you start to doubt yourself you start to think that there's something wrong with you you start to think that you'll never find someone and when I start to feel like that, I know it's time for me to pull back and just lean into myself and reconnect with myself and fall back in love with myself, which sounds like a fortune cookie. But I have to say, there's nothing quite like a nice night in, sitting on your couch, watching a good movie that you love, going to bed early. Like, honestly, my favorite kind of thing. So I'm going to do that tonight. I'm going to do some, like fun new skincare. I've been looking forward to doing like a nice little face mask, rehydrate my skin, take a break from the computer because my eyes are like bloodshot right now. I've been staring at my computer for so long. But anyway, that is my week or whatever this was, like a few days in my life, guys. I really appreciate you for still watching, though I didn't really do much out of my apartment this week. It's just been a big work week, honestly. But that's just real life. That's what I do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little vlog and it brought you some, I don't know, some happiness or just some just entertainment. And I will see you guys in my next vlog. I'm actually filming a Q&A tomorrow. I'm thinking of doing a blast from the past where I revisit an old Q&A from like 10 years ago and like compare my answers or something. So stay tuned for that. I think I'm gonna actually post that before this. Um, so stay tuned. I have some other content coming. And we're just all about loving ourselves right now. That is the vibe. That is the mantra. That is what I'm doing. So thank you guys for watching. I'll talk to you guys in my next vlog. Bye.